Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 31. Inside this video, we are going to see model with database. And inside this first phase, we are going to do our select query. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of CakePHP 4, Code Igniter 4, MySQL, then you must visit this blogging website. If I back to browser, this is the blogging website and inside this blogging we have several different different categories. Inside each category we have different different interesting blog articles. If I scroll down, here we will have a section of latest blog post which is displaying all about recently posted blog articles. Back to the topic, so inside this video we are going to see all about select queries. By the help of model, we are going to select data. So back to database. So inside this database, we have a table called students. As we can see that inside this students table, the total number of rows we have called 500. So we are going to select all the data what we have. So first let's go inside this table. So inside this table, we have the column as ID, name, email, mobile, created at and updated at. If we check inside this structure, so these are the columns we have. Back to editor. This is student controller. So let's create a method first. Public function. Let's select data. And if we want to execute our model based query, first of all, we need to load our model. So if we go top at this controller file, we should see that Already we have we loaded all about student model. So go here. Let's say that students equal to here we need to write call our model name. So it should be a student. And inside this student, by the help of that, we are calling all method. So let's write here echo PRE tag or pre-formatting HTML tag. Let's say print R. Here we will have let's say students. Now if we save, next we need to create a route. So go to web.php. Let's route. Inside this get method, let's list hyphen data. Creating an array. Inside this we need to call our controller. So a student controller. It will be a class. And inside this we need to write our method name. So we have the method name as select data. So copy and simply pasting it here. Next copy this route. Back to browser. And if I open here, pressing enter. After pressing enter, all the 500 records what we had seen inside this table is now presented inside this screen. If I scroll at the bottom, as we can see, id equals to 500. So total number of records we are getting inside this page equals to 500. And from the first line, we are seeing that all method is going to return the collection object. Inside this collection object, we have our model object. This is our first model, model object which is at zero index. If I scroll down, here we have the second model object which is at one index and so on, we will find up to 499. So this is all about using all method. By the help of all method, we can select all the data what we'll have inside our table. Next, if suppose we need to implement some fair condition. We don't want to actually take all the data from our database. What we want, let's say that we want if we click on browse, ignore all, this is my MySQL error, go at the top and inside this table as we can see we have id equals to 1, 2, 3 and so on. So let's say that we are going to select let's say fourth number id. Back to editor and one more thing, this is not the first method actually to select all the data. Instead of using all method, we have the another option to use get method as well. So if we save, back to browser, reload this page. And again we will get all the 500 records what we have inside our table. It is also going to return the collection object. 
this collection is going to contain all about our model object. So let's say that we are going to select this fourth number ID. So what we have to do, we need to put where condition. So let's say where arrow operator. So before that, let's say ID equals to 4. Now if we save, go here, reload this page and as we can see that inside this screen, we are getting all the information about a single model object. Inside this model object, we have the record whose ID equals to 4. But one more thing that this is the object means the single object whose ID equals to 4, we are getting inside this collection object. So is there any way to actually make this object alone? We don't want to actually get inside this collection object. So we have back to editor. Instead of using get, if I write here, let's say first, save these changes, go here, reload this page. And as we can see that we are getting our student object separately. Instead of getting a collection object, this time we have only a single object whose ID equals to 4. Back to editor. So inside this case, we have implemented via condition and also for searching and let's say for filtering our data, we have used the primary key. So instead of using this first method, also we have the alternative way and the best way to use all about find method. Find method is basically used when we want to search our data by the help of primary key. What I mean, simply if I make comment of this line, scroll down, let's say students, student and here will we use call find method. Inside this find method, we need to pass only about the ID. So if I pass 4 value here, automatically it will be understood to this model that we are going to select a student whose ID equals to 4. It is because ID is a primary key. So find method always search with the primary key. Now if you save, go here, reload this page and as we can see that the output will be same. In some cases, let's say that we want to select whose ID equals to 4, 8 and 9. It means we are going to select 3 data. So simply go here, create an array, let's say 4, 8 and 9. If we save, reload this page and this time it is going to return a collection object. It is because this time we have 3 different objects of student. At the first index, we have the id equals to 4. In the first index, we have equals to 8 and 9 as well. So the find method is useful when we want to search our data by the help of primary key. Otherwise, if we have, suppose if we have filtered our data by the help of this name, email or any other column, then we need to use all about the where method as well as the first method. Let's say that we want to select a data whose email ID equal to that. So if I copy, go here. So instead of using find method as we know that the email is not a primary key. So inside this where put email equals to and the value which we have copied and we are going to use the first method. Save this change. Go and reload this page and we are getting a single object value. And here we have. So this is all about what we had seen. If I back to slide, open a new tab. We had seen model and all method. This is going to contain all the data what we have inside this models respective table. And also it is going to return a collection object. Inside that collection object, we will have several student object values. Also, we have the alternative option apart from this all method, we will have this get method as well. So to select all the data, we have all method, get method. If I again copy and paste, if we want to get any single row, by the help of any value which is not a primary key. So in that condition, we will use where method to put our condition and the first method. 
but in case of let's say searching with the help of primary key then we will use all about find method so pasting it here and this is all about find method and the next method we are going to discuss all about we have called it should be something find not actually find it will be first and he will write where so what is that it is basically the shorthand to use the syntax first where back to editor what I will do simply comment this line and let's say that students equal to this is our model call student we are going to use first where and simply let's say email this is a non primary key column and what I will do simply copy this value and pasting it here now if we save back to browser reload this page and as we can see that we are getting a single model object and these are the values so this is all about the discussion of all these methods to get all the data also how how can we put away a condition as well as selecting a single row as well now the next question we have that is now let's say we have selected all the data but how can we actually print or is it to get these values so what I will do here we are going to comment this line let's say for loop simply for each inside this let's say students at the first case what I will do let's say I'm going to select all the data so here we have students equal to this is all about model and we are going to use all method so students copy and pasting it here let's say as student this is a variable which is containing all the data but this is a variable which is going to iterate over each model object so let's echo student and as we know that inside collection object we are getting each model object so to retrieve any model object value here we have the value which is a model object and inside this let's say we are getting or we want to get the email address value now if we save back to browser reload this page and as we can see that inside this page we are getting total of 500 email IDs also if we want to get let's say, the name value so a student this is a model object arrow operator to retrieve the value and here we will have the name as well so I am to put a BR to break the line and I am to remove that putting a comma here save these changes reload this page so here we are getting the name and this is the email address sorry this is email address and here is the name value so by the help of such type of syntax using for each loop we have iterated over all the data what actually we got from here but in case of single data we don't need to actually use this for each instead of that what we will do if I uncomment this line comment this line uncomment this first line save these changes go and reload this page this is a single model object we don't need to actually use for each loop so simply if we want to get the name value or the email value let's say here we have name and email so this is a model object simply put the name here it is going to retrieve the name value from the model object save these changes go and reload this page so this is the name value in case of email address simply we need to put email and reload here now in the next video we will create a layout means by the help of our HTML in that layout we will put all the dummy means all the value what we are getting from our table inside this case we had seen how to make our queries and also we had seen that how can we print our values in the next video by the help of HTML layout we will display all the data what we got from the table so from this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.